Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. I have for you some hot new perfume releases. These are some of the brand spanking new perfumes that were just released and many of you are very very anxious and excited to find out more about these brand new releases. I gotta tell you guys, I have some really exciting ones in this video. So I have some designer and niche hot new releases to review for you. So if you want to find out what these are and my thoughts on them, just keep on watching. I am about to change my upload dates. So as you know, I upload every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So that has been my schedule since like the very first days of my channel. So I'm thinking of changing my upload schedule to Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays at 10 in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time, not 9 a.m. I think 9 a.m. has been a little bit early for many of you. I think 10 a.m. is a very nice time. When I asked you on the community page and when I asked you this question, about 30% of you said, yes, change it. About, I think I wanna say 15 to 18% of you said, keep it the way it is. And majority of you said, it doesn't matter. So majority of you have spoken, so I'm going to change it to Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now that I got the housekeeping items out of the way, boy, do I have the goodies for you. You all are gonna be so excited to find out about these new releases, I'm telling you. And the one I know I wanna talk about the first, I think this is one I'm very excited about. This is probably the one I'm most excited about is right here in this box. It is of course from Twisted Lily. And it is, you guys, you wanna guess? You probably saw in the thumbnail. It is the, yes. Maison Francis Kirjan 724, the brand new MFK Maison Francis Kirjan release right here. I love the blue sort of violet blue box here, which is very uh, complimentary to the actual bottle inside. So let me show you the perfume. It's the typical Maison Francis Gergian packaging. As you know, you always has this pull up thing. You pull the perfume out like this with the tab up here. And here it is. Oh my goodness. Now, if you guys watch my vlogs, my last vlog that I uploaded where I took you perfume sniffing and makeup shopping and I did a, a tiny mini sort of fashion haul as well in that video. If you saw that video, you saw me sniffing this at Neiman Marcus. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, did I fall in love with this fragrance. Yes, spoiler alert, I love this. I love it. I just absolutely love it because you know what I love about Maison Francisca Gian is, is the originality of this fragrance house. This is original. In my opinion, this is niche. This is original. Now that's what we're looking for in niche fragrances. We want something that hasn't been done before, something that no one else is gonna smell like. I was super blown away. I was not expecting to be blown away when I sniffed this at Neiman Marcus and I hadn't heard any reviews. I hadn't watched any reviews. I hadn't read any reviews. I hadn't even done anything when I first smelled this. But love the bottle. You saw the bottle as usual. Ah, oh, MFK DNA, you guys. I really want to, I can smell it, but I really want to spray this. This is going to be my scent of the day. This one is original. I'm gonna spray it on my wrist and on my clothes a little bit. 
Let me tell you about it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, so good. I sniffed this as, at Neiman Marcus and I had to control myself not to make a huge fuss in the middle of the middle of the department store. So I had to kind of hold myself back and I just kind of went, mm. you know, when I smelled it, it was so good. Oh my goodness. You guys, let me tell you, this fragrance is very, very, very feminine to my nose. This is absolutely beautiful, goddess-like. It's a gorgeous, one of the most gorgeous, 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 clean smelling fragrances. I have ever, ever, ever smelled. That says a lot, given how many perfumes I have in my collection. And you guys, there's something else to this fragrance. Let me get the whole clean, gorgeous, sort of soapy vibe out of the way first. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about another aspect of this fragrance, to me personally as someone who was born and spent the childhood in a tropical island, on a tropical island. I have another aspect of it I want to talk to you about, but let me get the more obvious aspect out of the way that most of my Western subbies, my viewers are going to relate to. Here in the US, in the European countries, you will relate to more of the more obvious aspect of this fragrance, which is the clean, gorgeous, slightly soapy, goddess-like nature of this fragrance. It smells, there are some fragrances that remind me of a woman that almost smells like a goddess. That's kind of what this reminds me of. I mean, this smells absolutely enchanting. It's very effervescent fragrance. It's just clean and beautiful. It smells like a very luxurious fragrance. It smells like someone very wealthy, a woman who's absolutely drop dead gorgeous and wealthy, took this luxurious bath or shower with some very luxury products and stepped out of the shower and she smells absolutely drop-dead gorgeous and divine. So that's what it smells like. Now this has that slight clean soapy vibe from the aldehydes. This is a slightly aldehydic fragrance but don't you be afraid if you are not someone who likes aldehydes usually, most people do, but if you're one who's a little, who shies away from aldehydes a little bit, remember this. This doesn't smell strongly aldehydic like Woman in Gold or, or um, Abracadabra, you know, by Kriegler or any of the very strong aldehydic fragrances that you know about. No, it doesn't smell that aldehydic. Yes, it has some aldehydes. You can, like, it's very well blended and you can smell it. It's in there. That sunny, soapy vibes of the aldehydes that you, we all know and love. Yes, it's there, absolutely there. And oh my God, with those aldehydes, the gorgeous, gorgeous jasmine in this fragrance is just absolutely stunning. It's that true jasmine that I crave, that I love. Not the dirty jasmine, not the dark jasmine, not the, you know, the weird jasmine. This is the, the very beautiful, true jasmine scent that you get in the mornings when they bloom at dawn. You know, jasmine bloom, I think around five in the morning, something like that, and they fill the air with that jasmine perfume. And that's that true jasmine that I am smelling like the morning dawn when 
you wake up and you smell that jasmine scent in the air. So that's what it has. With that little bit of aldehyde, it's almost giving this fragrance a little bit of a certain childhood scent that I remember. Now, this is the other aspect of this fragrance that many of my Western viewers may not be able to relate to or understand when I say it. I feel like the mix of the aldehyde and the jasmine give this fragrance a certain incense that I remember from the childhood. Now remember, this is not the kind of incense that I'm talking about that most of you are familiar with you know, smelling at church. Now, in church, you smell that frankincense kind of incense, right? It's very kind of like, has that myrrh kind of frankincense, you know, very strong incense smell. That's not what I, the super smoky incense, that, that's not what I'm talking about. Not what I'm talking about. So if you, if your mind goes immediately to like the church incense, like the frankincense type of vibes that's not what i'm talking about this is a particular type of intense that i'm trying to tell you about it is i've only seen it in that part of the world in south asia actually i don't know where else that this may be i'm talking about this type of incense this is a jasmine incense right here so this is a floral incense that is not too smoky smelling when it burns it smells more like the floral that's in here and it smells very much like jasmine and here's one i mean there are many in here and i pulled one out so it's this right here so that's see it smells very very close to this minus the aldehydes of course um oh it smells absolutely divine you guys i mean this smells this doesn't smell smoky it smells more like the actual that see this isn't a plastic but I can still smell it through. I think it's the aldehydes that create that sort of floral incense scent, or, or this actually has some kind of florally incense note. I don't know, but my guess really is that it is from the combination of the aldehydes with that jasmine that creates that sort of specific floral incense vibe this incense as i told you it smells more like the floral it's the soapiness in this fragrance that smells like that actually which is odd because you don't think soapy and think incense that's if you think of frankincense incense that's not what i'm talking about right this is different kind of incense so i'm hoping you get the right idea as i describe this those of you who are familiar with this kind of incense you will get the idea. But first and foremost, this fragrance smells more clean, modern, just effervescent, bright, gorgeous, jasmine, feminine, beauty. Guys, if you're wearing this fragrance, you can shower like in the morning and at I don't know, right before bedtime, before shower again, you, I shower twice a day. Maybe some of you are thinking, what, twice a day? I shower twice a day, but if you're not crazy like me, maybe you only shower once a day. Let's say you showered in the morning and you will go to bed, you don't shower at night, let's say, and you go to bed and you will feel like you just showered. You just stepped out of the bathroom and you would smell so fresh, so gorgeous. This is gonna be a great airplane scent. You will feel so fresh, so beautiful, like you, you just stepped out of a luxurious bath, luxurious shower, all flight, like your flight is like 20 hours long. You will smell like you just showered, stepped out of the shower. And you will feel, feel refreshed all day when you can't get to a shower, you know? From that aldehydes, I think also, it has a very, in the very background, a slight metallic, very tiny hint of metallic vibe in the background, but that is very much adding to that effervescent quality, the freshness, the, the sort of expensive smell. It's very, very airy, very light, 
like putting your face in a in a in a in a vase of or bouquet of beautiful tropical white florals like jasmine and magnolia i don't think this has magnolia i mean does it it might but it smells very much like jasmine when i first sprayed and had my husband smell it and i was expecting him to say oh my god this is such a beautiful floral fragrance it's very very feminine and everything but he smelled that and the first thing he said was Wow, that's gorgeous, obviously. That's gorgeous, it smells beautiful. But then he said immediately, it smells a little smoky. I'm like, what? I was like, what are you talking about? It does not smell smoky at all. He was thinking of this incense. He's right, he's right, because I thought of it too, but I didn't connect the dot, smoky and incense, like, duh. It makes perfect sense. He's familiar with this scent too. The, the, the beautiful tropical white floral incense from that part of the world. He was thinking his mind went right there. That's why he got the smoky from. I said, do you mean like the incense smell from like, you know, Sri Lanka? That, that kind of like, like the temples, then that kind of beautiful floral incense. He's like, yes, yes, that's what I was thinking. So he smelled it too. You guys, this has got some beautiful citruses. I think this there's Italian bergamot, there's some kind of orange, there's beautiful effervescent citruses, like light, airy, fresh citruses, I believe, in the opening. And this has the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous jasmine. I believe this has like uh, something called mock orange. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous citrus floral, I think, I believe. And this has sweet pea, which is a beautiful, delicate floral, I think adds to that. I think they add to that gorgeous jasmine scent a very, 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 very much. It's a beautiful mid medley, a bouquet of florals in the middle with that citruses and aldehydes in the opening with that bright, effervescent, sunny sort of opening. You get what I mean? And you guys, the best thing in the, on the dry down is that the musk. This is a very floral, musky, fresh fragrance. The, and, and aldehydic. This has that beautiful sensual dry down with the sensual and sexy dry down. Sandalwood is the woody note uh, or one of the woody notes that's so sensual in the dry down and I couldn't have thought of better woody note other than sandalwood for this delicate fragrance. And then there's a ton of musk. It's very musky, very sexy because of the musk. When you smell this fragrance, you see white and silver. If, if you were to give a color to this fragrance, it's white. It's like being in white linen, white flowy chiffon, white everything. It's white and it's sunny, it's bright, it's effervescent, it's fresh, it's light, it's soft, it's airy. Those are the, the feelings you get and you smell like an absolute stunning, feminine, gorgeous goddess that dropped from the heavens i'm taking way too long on this fragrance i need to move on to the other fragrances but get it and get it now you need this i want to smell like this for the rest of my life honestly you guys if you want to get a, a really good discount on maison francisca jean fragrances i have a discount code down in the description box for you guys check that out Go, you're gonna have to look in the description box for it. I, I have a really good discount. The San Francisco John fragrances are hard to get discounts on, so grab it when you can at a discounted price. I have another beauty from Gerla. Guess what this is? Gerla just came out with, boy was I excited out of my mind when I saw this. Gerla came up with the cherry fragrance. I am so excited, you guys. This is from the Gerla La Erla Matière collection, you guys. This one is from their Privé collection, the, the, what do you call it? The luxury collection. As you know, they, they revamped, gave it a, new look i should say their um their luxury collection so let me open it up so this is her oh that fell out this is, came with a little booklet i bet with all the perfume notes and stuff in it and here she is let me open it up 
And as you guys probably know, let me get this out first. Um, on the Gerla website, when you buy from this collection, from the Luxury Privé collection, you can customize your bottle. So that's what I did. Now here it is. So let me open it up. So there it is. The gorgeous red juice, kind of red pinky juice. So I customized this top. So I chose the alligator red, cherry red. And then I chose the red cord and the black seal here. So, and then I also customized it by um, engraving my initials right here. So on the back, it has my initials. So yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. This is the new design. Ah, so now this one, you guys, this is a beautiful cherry fragrance. I'm gonna get into it, but I will start by saying that if you are not a huge fan of sort of oud, oriental smelling, woody sort of fragrances, if you're not a fan of oud at all, this is not the fragrance for you because you can smell the oud. It's all about the cherry, the sweet, sweet alcohol dipped, like bourbon dipped, like a bourbon cherry. It's like a, 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 a boozy bourbon dipped cherry with oud. Okay, so that's what this smells like. So it has this booziness about it. It's got gorgeous like cherry, like very black kind of cherry, not the sour cherry, very much like a bourbon cherry. And it um, has oud in it. it. The oud scent is very much there. I do not have to spray this one whatsoever. Do you want me to spray? I mean, I could spray just for you, like perhaps on one of these, one of the papers here. I'm wearing my 724, so I don't want to mix these two. They're very clashing kind of fragrances, so I don't want to spray it on me. Ah, yes, beautiful, you guys. I love, 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 love the beautiful, boozy, bourbon-like cherry in this fragrance. Very, very delicious gorgeous like kind of almost syrupy very boozy bourbon cherry that's in here absolutely stunning when you smell this fragrance now i told you when you smell 724 you thought white right white or silver when you smell this you think red this is a very crimson fragrance i mean the color is perfect for this the bottle the cherry color this has the most beautiful bulgarian and turkish rose notes that just give even more like i don't know a, another dimension to that cherry oud boozy bourbon cherry vibe the the oud from the the oriental vibe from the oud this has that bulgarian and turkish rose at a beautiful floral touch so it's probably because of the oud that the rose smell kind of oriental in this fragrance. As I smelled this fragrance, you guys, I thought leather. I could smell, I could feel the leather. You don't really smell the leather per se because it's so well blended. You don't actually get a leather smell like you smell on a new leather bag. That's not what it smells like. It, it is well blended. You can't smell the leather, but you feel it almost like that 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 sexiness, that longevity, that power, that luxurious scent that leather gives to fragrances that's hard to describe. I knew there was leather. When I, when I, when I first sprayed this, before I even looked at the notes, I knew immediately, well, from the, the name to the cherry oud, I knew there'll be cherry, there'll be oud, and you could smell those two right away. That's what you smell, the oud and the cherry, very much, and the booze. And then I knew immediately there was some kind of booze in this. It, it, it's either bourbon or brandy, something like that. I smell the booze and then I thought leather. I knew there was leather. So I, I, I knew cherry, I knew oud, I knew a booze accord, accord and I knew leather. That's what I could smell the most 
This is absolutely stunning, you guys. I am telling you. The thing about this is that I love it. I love the fact that it's a boozy bourbon cherry with that dark black wood. So this is actually red and black, just like the bottle. So when I when I think of this fragrance, I think red and black actually. So the darkness of the oud and the red and from the from that like crimson facets, like the from the floral, the rose notes and from the cherry that you get in here. So the Bulgarian Turkish rose really add a pretty floral aspect to that bourbon cherry, the boozy cherry, right? And then you get that very sharp oud. I must say the oud scent in here is, is strong. It is there, it's present. You can smell the oud. So if you're not a fan of oud, the dark, sharp oud, this is not for you, even though the cherry scent in here is absolutely divine. Divine, divine, divine. And you guys, the dry down is stunning, absolutely stunning. I love it. I love the opening. I love the middle. I love the, the, the base. I gotta say in the opening, you smell mostly the bourbon cherry. In the middle, you smell the rose. You smell the oud. Actually, you smell oud right away in the opening too. But but you know what I mean. It, it, as it develops, those are what come through more. There are some other fruity notes in here as well with cherry. So there's a very fruity aspect to this. Yeah, this is Gerla Cherry Oud. So I have another new release that I have been wanting to review since it came out right here. This one is from the House of Siage from the Sweet Atelier collection. This is Sweet Dreams. First of all, I absolutely love this cute box. How gorgeous and cute is this? It's absolutely stunning and I absolutely also love this um, sort of pull down right there um, where you can actually access the the fragrance um, easier. That's very very nice. It's a nice touch. You can even take pictures like this. It's very beautiful. So yeah, I adore the box and I adore the beautiful cupcake bottle. Their bottles are shaped like a cupcake. Now for the first time, House of Siage actually released a cupcake bottle with an actual cupcake design. So yeah, this is their first cupcake cupcake, I suppose. So yeah, this is Sweet Atelier, Sweet Dreams. Um, there's also another one in the Sweet Atelier collection, which is, uh, I think, Chiffon, Cream Chiffon. I did not get that one because I I read in reviews that this lasted longer. So now this one, you guys, is, oh, this is beautiful. I don't need to spray this. Well, I sprayed the cherry oud, by the way, only because I felt like spraying it because I wanted to get that opening a little bit more. I should mention that cherry wood is very strong. I mean, it projects like crazy. I mean, from even the atomizer. Like I can smell it over here. So remember that it's got great projection, very long lasting, uh, good sillage, very good performance. That one I forgot to mention. Now this one, I was going to say that I do not need to spray this either. Like I can smell it right there. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, I've been wearing this. I don't know if you can tell. I've actually been wearing it. I've worn it at least, I haven't had it for very long, but I've worn it a lot of times considering how little time I've had it in my collection. You guys, one thing I want to get out of the way right away is the fact that people keep comparing this to Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. I see where they're coming from though. It's not a... I don't want to say it's a wrong kind of thing to say. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it doesn't smell like... It's not a dupe for Bitter Peach, okay? It doesn't smell like it either exactly. It's got some facets, some aspects of bitter peach, maybe. The only thing that you smell that's similar to bitter peach is the actual peach note and the sweetness. Other than that, there's, there's nothing else similar between this fragrance and that one. I don't understand why people keep saying that they're like identical twins, you know, almost. Like it's not, it's not at all. So please don't think that. And yes, you should get this too. If, before you ask me that question, do I need this if I have bitter peach? I would say yes. I, I honestly, I prefer this. Now here is a good way to, to put it. I don't like bitter peach, but I like this. 
So obviously they are not that similar, right? Bitter peach is good, but it's not a love, okay? For me, it, there's something very sharp about bitter peach that I don't love that this doesn't have. This is actually so beautifully sweet and delicious from the get-go, you guys. I absolutely have been loving wearing this fragrance. By the way, did I tell you I already got compliments on this fragrance? Like, one day I was wearing this in the car. I went to pick up my son. They, they were putting my, my son in the car uh, from school and, you know, she, the teacher smelled. My car was filled with this scent, like the whole car would fi was filled and I couldn't even smell. I was smelling it the whole way and I was loving it. She put her, she, before she even put her head into the car to put the child in, she was like, oh my goodness, you smell good. What is that? That's gorgeous. Smells very beautiful. So yeah, I got already a compliment and I only worn this just a few times and I've not worn it out that much. I've worn it to test around the house and that couple of times out, right? And I haven't worn this to work yet. I, I kind of look forward to wearing this to work to see what my colleagues say. So yeah, definitely a compliment getter, I would say. It is beautiful, beautiful, sweet, luxurious scent. I really love it. I did not think I was going to love it this much when I first you know, I kind of saw the bottle, I'm like, ah, some, another sweet fragrance, okay, cupcake, it's cute, whatever. But you know what? No, I mean, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, why not? It's cool and gorgeous, beautiful. Why not? And the scent is divine. Now, the opening of this fragrance is so very stunning, you guys, because it's, it's sexy. It's not just that peachy fruity scent from the peach nectar but this has Davana you guys you guys know how I feel about Davana Davana is this sexy sultry herbal note you know it's exactly that and when I say herbal don't you get in your head like herbs like I don't mean like rosemary thyme that kind no 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 that not that sort of literal herbal scent that you smell day to day when you put them in your food that's not what I mean. When I say herbal in perfumery, perfumery herbal refers to something different. It's, it's, it's sultry, it's sexy. There, there's something almost balsamic about herbal notes, you know, like um, the very, very, I don't know how else to say, it, sultry. Um, especially herbal notes like lavender, very sexy. Davana, super sexy. Every time there's Davana in a fragrance, I jump on it. I jump on it because I, I know I'm going to love the sultriness of it, you know. That peach. Peach is usually not my favorite note, but in this with the sweetness, you guys, this peach absolute or the peach nectar, I think, that, that this has. Beautiful with the sweetness. There's something very sweet about this fragrance. There's a sweetness. I wonder if sweet comes from like maybe vanilla, although I'm not necessarily smelling vanilla in here particularly, but there's almost like sugary, not like a toothache English sugariness, but there's like a sugary sweetness to this fragrance, like candy, but in a very luxurious perfume kind of way. This also has that orange sanguine, adding that almost like that sort of orange zest kind of vibes, like that sort of oily, almost like orange zest kind of vibe. Beautiful, absolutely stunning top top notes I tell you the opening is absolutely divine and then you guys this has some beautiful narcotic floral notes like gorgeous des jasmine there is osmanthus which I'm not usually a fan of but I can see what osmanthus why osmanthus is a great fragrance floral for this fragrance note for this a floral note for this because osmanthus has that sort of apricot vibes which really complement that the, the peach in here you know so it's this yellow floral with honeyed kind of nuances to it. So yeah, I can see that. I can see it being being really, really good for this fragrance. Um, and this has this gorgeous booziness, you guys, from the rum in here. So it's a little bit boozy too. It's like a beautiful peach nectar, sexy, slightly herbally, orangey, boozy, rum candy, some kind of sweet. I don't know. I, it's hard to describe. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
It's like a candy that's absolutely divine smelling. So this has amber wood, cedar wood, and some patchouli in the base. This is super beautiful. It exceeded my expectations. Getting a compliment right away, like I think it was on my first or second wear that I got a compliment. Beautiful, it kind of fills the, especially an enclosed space, right? I'm yet to see how this performs in like an open kind of situation, the projection, you know, how far it projects. Although that did project outside of the car because she started smelling me from outside the car. But we'll see. I need to wear this a little bit more to find out more. It lasts a really good long time. I kept get, getting whiffs, I'd say eight hours, um, and on clothes until you wash them. So absolutely beautiful. Sweet Dreams by Sweet Atelier, um, from the Sweet Atelier collection from the House of Siage. Gorgeous box, I'm gonna save this one. So Chanel came up with the Parfait version of Gabrielle Chanel, you guys. This one is right here. This is the Parfait, the more concentrated or high in oil concentration, like oil, percentage I should say uh, in the parfum but you know there's an order parfum that you all know and love but this is the parfum version you guys it is very potent a potent potent fragrance but I tell you you pay for it it's this tiny little bottle you will see here in a second and it is $345 for the tiny thing that you're about to see here now watch this this is the only size it comes in this is super luxurious do you see how tiny this is i mean here's my palm this is it fits in my palm it is very 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 tiny but it is the parfum the more concentrated high in oil concentration version of gabrielle chanel now this you guys as i said is absolutely strong and potent see I can smell it right here right here I don't need to spray it and I'm not going to spray it because I am not wasting this juice but now with this fragrance you guys you only need like a tiny dab here on your little wrists your pulse points and just put it behind the ears and you're done because it's very potent and concentrated and you can smell it from miles away it has good projection sillage lasting power because it is high in oil concentration oil percentage of the perfume oil you know what i mean ah oh, this is absolutely gorgeous this smells like the or parfum but the only difference is it's a lot more beautiful i would say because it's concentrated and potent and there's something even more beautiful about this version i do believe some of the fragrance notes are slightly different. So as you guys know, this is a gorgeous white yellow floral. There's the tuberose from Grasse France, and there is Ylang Ylang, there's Jasmine. It's just a stunning, stunning fragrance. You know what it smells like. Most of you have probably smelled it or, or have it. The Eau de Parfum version, the original. And you guys, this has a large dose of vanilla that really, really, really compliment those floral notes i mean this is not doing justice to just how gorgeous this fragrance is i was actually blown away by how strong it was when i dabbed just a little bit on my wrist and i was already aware that i didn't need to use much of it because you can tell the juice is pretty strong right there like it it's, looks com more concentrated darker in color than the eau de parfum you know what i mean it can be called an extrait de parfum too like it's an it's a parfum version with like extrait kind of oil concentration. It's a very intense um, floral fragrance with so many beautiful florals. As I said, jasmine, ylang ylang, orange blossom, tuberose from grass, um, so many florals. And in the base you get that gorgeous vanilla, like I said, with sweet, a bit of sweetness, not too sweet, and sensuality from that sandalwood beautiful fragrance you guys i was like really not expecting it to be that strong and that potent and that beautiful but it's much somehow more beautiful than the order parfum even though the the compositions or the notes are very similar just that high concentration of oil and maybe like slight here and there 
differences in the nodes made a quite a difference um i would say high performance absolutely stunning but my god this tiny little thing tiny little thing i mean this this box is tiny too but look at how tiny tiny little thing is 345 dollars and no it doesn't come in any other sizes this is i believe is it one point no this is 35 mil which is 1.2 fluid ounces so very very tiny it's concentrated next i have a highly requested fragrance to be reviewed on my channel everybody kept asking me are you gonna review it are you gonna review it and i was planning to buy this anyway so i decided to buy it and review for you this one is burberry her elixir de parfum you guys this one is a flanker to the original burberry her as you know there are many other flankers there's burberry her on tones there's burberry her something else i forget now like the green one there are a lot of flankers but this is the latest flanker this bottle is opaque now this one is let me put it this way. This doesn't smell like any of the other Burberry hers because all of the other Burberry her, the original and the flankers have that Burberry her DNA, right? But I don't really even smell particularly, oh, this smells so good, by the way. Mm, Burberry her DNA per se that everybody likes to say there again, everybody go comparing everything to Baja Rouge 540. Yeah, that slight whatever Baja Rouge 540 DNA, although I don't like to call it that. I think it's it's that sort of ambergris type of uh, sort, sort of vibe, you know. Um, that is not in here. This one is just basically very fruity and floral. I would say super berry fruity. It's a very juicy berry fruity fragrance right from the get-go. I don't need to spray this. This is actually quite strong this is by the way this has got decent very good i would say more than decent very good lasting power projection sillage oh yeah i can i can smell a little bit of that original burberry her way way in the back but it's very like nothing like the other burberry hers let let me start off with that this has a gorgeous juicy raspberry and blackberry note in the opening i think that blackberry has added something really delicious and fruity to this fragrance something dark and you know berry like almost kind of plummy not really plummy but you know what i mean that berryness that dark berryness from the blackberry this has beautiful white florals like jasmine it's got a nice dose of amber loads of vanilla it's quite sweet very sweet i would say and some sensual sandalwood you guys seriously i'm not gonna spray this i can spray it very strongly this one is a good strong one Honestly, uh, it lasted pretty decent on me. I wasn't expecting it to. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It smells very much like, you know what? Just to please you, I, I guess I would spray it. Let me spray it on this card, I guess. Um, I know what it is. It's that, this, this smells special and different. It's that blackberry and the raspberry with the mixed with the vanilla that gives it almost like a dessert-like scent. I know. It smells almost like a, um, a like a berry trifle, you know? Yeah, it has a much more fruity dessert type of vibe, uh, whereas it's, you know, the other Burberry hers don't have that. It's very different. It goes in a very different direction. Beautiful fragrance. It lasts quite decently, going close to eight hours on clothes a little bit longer. I would say good decent sillage a projection as well. Yeah, but I need to test it more. I've only worn it, what, twice? I just bought it. Um, you saw it, in fact, in my vlog. I bought this at Sephora in the vlog. So you know I have not had it for very long. Yeah, this is Burberry Her Elixir. And I have another highly requested one to review on my channel. This one, is, if you kept asking of this one as well. This is Prada Paradoxy, you guys. This one is, is beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes, it's true what people are saying. Yes, it smells a little generic or whatever that means. I mean... People are saying that they've smelled it before, I think more like it, but it's not boring. It's not, I would not call it boring. Like if I, people are calling it that, it's not fair. It's actually quite lovely, quite gorgeous, quite feminine fragrance. 
yeah it's generic in the sense not in a boring way but rather the fact that you may have smelled fragrance composition similar to this before elsewhere but that's all but there's something different about it there's something extra something special about it as well yeah this is the bottle it's a cute little triangular bottle so you can sort of store it this way which is kind of cute which is different i love that ah uh, again i don't even need to spray this fragrance you know what's gorgeous about this fragrance to me you guys it's that gorgeous tangerine note that's in here that's what's beautiful about it to me the tangerine note Tangerine is a, a sweeter, more syrupy, more, more, I wanna, don't want to say honey-like, but, but tangerine is, is got like a little bit more of a syrupy sweetness. It's hard to describe. Have you smelled a tangerine? You know what I'm talking about. It's not like orange. It's not like bergamot. It's not like lemon. It's not like any of those. There's something sweet and syrupy about tangerine. And that's the, oh, but right, that's what I'm smelling right now when I smell this. Tangerine, tangerine, that's what I'm smelling the most. There's something tangerine. The tangerine adds something very special to this fragrance. I'm going to spray it, although I can sm smell it very, very well. I will spray it just to make you happy. Ah, oh, yeah, I love it, you guys. I love that. I think it's that juicy tangerine and mixed with the juicy pear in this fragrance with um uh, you know the other citruses i think there's bergamot too but it's the tangerine that's dominant it's that beautiful citrusy tangerine in the opening that makes it special and what complements the tangerine very well are those citrus florals in the middle the neroli essence the neroli neroli comes from a citrus you know tree of course neroli has that sort of uh citrusy honey like smell you know uh, which complements that tangerine absolutely beautifully it has um, other florals like orange blossom which is another citrus floral obviously comes from the orange obviously um, and then there's jasmine so just beautiful that tangerine with the orange blossom and the neroli the citrus florals really gives it this sort of zingy zesty gorgeousness and the sweet syrupiness of the tangerine complements the honeyed nuances of the neroli it's absolutely stunning you guys this has the beautiful sweet base with the gorgeous heavy heavy dose of vanilla and benzoin both so it's a little bit of resinous vibe from the the heavy dose of amber too by the way there's well i wouldn't say heavy dose but there's some amber so resonant vibe from the benzoin and the amber and loads and loads of, of vanilla, which makes it nice and sweet. And there's a good amount of musk, which makes it kind of sexy. Yeah, yes, I have smelled similar fragrances before-ish. Yeah, and even I have, I think, one or two fragrances with a tangerine note. But there is still something special about it, you guys. I wouldn't, like, dismiss it like it's some generic piece of junk. I wouldn't call it that, that badly. Yeah, it is not like a niche fragrance. It is definitely not one of a kind. You've smelled this kind of stuff before. But if you want a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous floral fragrance that's absolutely feminine with citrusy freshness, then you got one. And this is great for, you know, everyday wear, daytime wear, I would say, um, to the office, to anywhere. I mean, even to, you know, daytime function. It's beautiful. Um, I would say it's a very nice fragrance. You can make it your signature scent. It, you know, if you want something that's not too expensive that you can wear every day and smell pretty nice, pretty beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I would say it's pretty lovely. Yeah, Paradoxy by Prada. Yes, it's not special, but it's still a beautiful fragrance. So you guys, that's it. Those are all my hot new releases, hot new fragrances that I wanted to review for you. I should say the most excited about the first uh, fragrances that I talked about, especially Maison Francisca Gian 724. Um, it's just goddess level, you guys. Absolutely stunning, blew me away. Very different composition. The, again, Maison Francisca Gian has done it again. Something created something very special, very different, very beautiful. 
So yeah, and of course the uh, the Gerla cherry oud is quite different. It's a oudy cherry fragrance that's different from the other cherry fragrances that I've smelled. I would say that one is super special. It's different from all of those other cherry fragrances that started to copy Tom Ford. Uh, Lost Cherry, it's different, at least it's original, it's definitely different and beautiful in a different way. It didn't copy Tom Ford Lost Cherry, Cherry Almond vibes that everybody seems to be doing. Every brand is coming up with the cherry fragrance with the almond, you know, gourmet uh, cherry vibes with the nuttiness, whatever, you know. But this one is different and beautiful. So love that. Love the Atelier, Sweet Atelier fragrance by House of Siage. Love the Chanel new uh, Parfum. Very concentrated, gorgeous. And I do like love the last two as well here with the Prada Paradoxy and Burberry Her Elixir is very delicious. Different berry, sort of dessert smelling, beautiful fragrance. Love them all, I would say in this new releases video, what I reviewed, I don't, none of it is a fail. I think I really like them all. Some of them are absolute loves and some of them are like, yeah, pretty nice, you know? So let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on these hot new releases. Are you planning to buy this? Have you already bought it? If you have, just tell me what your thoughts are. Share with you your experience down there in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a second to subscribe right there. Ring the notification bell next to it because without ringing the notification bell, there's no point in subscribing because it's almost like you didn't subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram uh, where I post everything before I even talk about them here on YouTube. And now I have a new TikTok account that I just started. I haven't posted very much, but help me out and follow me there as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next video.